Hey guys, welcome back to another End Curses tutorial. Today's End Curses tutorial is, I believe, End Curses tutorial number 16. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, clearing functions. Uh, not necessarily clearing like a single character, but clearing many characters at once. Uh, there are four of them I'm going to talk about today, and those are um, clear to end of line, clear to the bottom, erase, and clear. Um, now I did do a little bit of setup here ahead of time. It's just I just included the end curses header file, uh, set up end curses, did a refresh just because it's always good to do that. I think uh, then at the end we just have a get char and end win to make sure that before the program exits we catch something. Um, so the program just doesn't completely exit. So um, each of these four functions has a uh, W variant where you can supply a specific window that you'd like it to operate on, but uh, the, the variant here just uses standard screen, essentially. So uh, let's just get started. We'll talk about how clear to end of line works. So uh, just to give a demonstration, the program just started, so we're going to be at position 00, zero and we're going to do a print W uh, of, we're just going to say hello world, because why not? Um, so we'll do exclamation like that. And because we printed this, um, the cursor is going to move from 0, 0 to the end of this text. Uh, and what we want is we want to move back to, I'm going to move back to the position where this E is. So we'll do move 0, 1. That should bring us right back to position E, or sorry, character E. Um, I'm also going to do a get char before and after clear to end of line. And the reason why is because this way we'll get to see what it looks like before we run clear to end of line and then after as well. So now that we've written that up, let's do a make and run like that. I just created a, a make file. Um, if you're not familiar with make file, go check that out online. But um, I'm going to make this and run it and you'll see that for some reason, oh, it didn't save. That's why. So we'll do a save there um, and then we'll make that and run it and you'll see that First it prints hello world, then it moves to position 0, 1, which is right before the E. Then clear to end of line should clear from E onwards. So if we hit the next character, you'll see we're left with just the H, which is what we're expecting. So that's a good thing. So essentially it just clears from whatever the current cursor position is to the end of that line. Um, just to uh, drive my point home a little bit, um, if we then move to, uh, oops, we'll do a move print W after that. We move to position uh, line one zero like that. So it just moved down to the next line and we do the same thing. You'll see that it just clears to the end of the line. It doesn't clear anything below it. It just clears that line. So that brings us to the next part, clear to bottom or clear CLR to BOT, which stands for clear to bottom. As similar to before, I'm going to put a git char before and after this uh, routine or function or whatever you want to call it, just so we get to see before and after. Uh, now I'm going to copy a couple move print w's down here and we're going to start on line two like that. And we're going to print uh, everything below this should get cleared like that. And we'll print that a few times. We'll do line three, uh, line six just to push them real far down and ten like that so now if we come back over here and we do a make and run what we should see is we'll do the first two sections you'll see we get all these lines printed out and then once we click again uh what happened there oh oh what what happened was <laughs> i forgot to move back up so what happens is we need to again this advances the cursor so we need to move back up to, uh, we'll move up to uh, line two, character five. So this should bring us right back to here. Um, so if we, again, we make that and run it, we'll get through all that. And you'll see from um, the cursor has moved back to here at the end of every. And once we hit another character, it deletes everything to the end of the line as well as everything below it. So clear to bottom also clears to the end of the line, and then it clears the rest of the lines below it. So that's what clear to bottom does. Just to declutter the code a bit, I'm just going to comment out these two functions we've already done, so that way it doesn't keep printing those every single time. Now, um, we get down to erase and clear. Now, 
the difference between these two functions is actually really subtle, um, and I won't be able to really show you the difference in this tutorial. The main difference between these two functions is that erase doesn't call a function called clear OK, where clear does call a function called clear OK. Clear OK is a, a separate function that I'll discuss in a future tutorial, but all you really need to know for this tutorial is that erase is like a soft clear, whereas clear is like a hard clear. So erase is kind of like, okay, you know, I want to clear the screen, but it's not that important that we start fresh. So we're just going to do a very basic soft clear. Whereas clear is like, all right, we definitely need to clear the whole screen. We want to make sure the whole screen's cleared. That's the main difference. But for the purpose of the tutorial, they're going to look like the same function. Um, just to show you what I mean, uh, we're do, we'll do a print w and we'll just print um, hello world, something basic again. Um, and then we'll do another, we'll do a move print w and we'll go to like 0, 5 and then, or sorry, not 0, 5, uh, 5, 5. And then we'll do another one that's like 10, 30. I think I have enough lines for 30. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, similar to before, we'll do a get char before and after a race. So that way we can see what's, what's happening. Um, before and after we run the function. Uh, so let's do another make and run, and you'll see we have hello world, hello world, hello world. And then after we hit a character, the whole screen gets cleared. Um, so that's essentially what erase and clear do. And just to drive the point home, I'll do the same thing for clear. Uh, again, we'll just comment this out so that we we're not seeing a bunch of print lines that we have to get through. Um, and we'll replace that erase with clear like that. So we should get the uh, same exact output as the last time. So you'll see the screen clears and everything's gone. So that's essentially the um, screen clearing functions that we have available to us in NCurses. Um, like I said, they all have W variants. So if you want to do this on a specific window instead of standard screen, you can. Um, anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Keep an eye out for some more tutorials coming up. Like I said, I'll do some on clear OK and some other functions like clear OK. They actually are in like a class of functions. So I'll be doing a tutorial on those. Um, and also keep an eye out for um, a new tutorial series in NCurses. It's just going to be a separate series on creating a uh, snake game. So I'm not sure how long that's going to be. It might already be out the first one. You know, when you're watching this, it's probably already out. Um, but anyways, go check those out. Um, if you like this tutorial and my other tutorials, please give this one a, a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. And uh, feel free to comment below any questions or um, issues. I, you know, something I did wrong in the tutorial, feel free to let me know and I'll try and fix it for future things. And yeah, hope you guys like this and uh, I'll see you in the next one.